Welcome to CAD Learning for AutoCAD Civil 3D 2012. My name is Rick Ellis and I'll be your instructor for this course. I've been using AutoCAD Civil 3D since it was released in 2004. And prior to that, I've been using AutoCAD and other civil survey packages since the early 90s. I'm the author of several books about AutoCAD Civil 3D and AutoCAD Map 3D. I've also been a presenter at Autodesk University and the Augie CAD camps for a number of years, in addition to teaching hundreds of classes to organizations both large and small to help them get the most out of their investment in Civil 3D. This course has been divided into 18 chapters with over 160 lessons that includes over 15 hours of material. Of course, you can watch these lessons in any order you wish. The course content is very granular. Most lessons are four to six minutes in length. And they can be reordered so that you can watch them at any time in any sequence that you want. You can also use the course search tools to find individual lessons on specific topics that you're interested in. The course also includes the actual exercise files that are used in the various lessons. If you already have a copy of AutoCAD Civil 3D, you can open those exercise files and follow along, performing the same operations as I demonstrate them during the lesson. As I've mentioned, the course includes keyword search capabilities. For example, if you want to find lessons on how to create a profile, or lessons that use the profile tools, you would simply search on the word profile. As I also said, the course includes the actual exercise files that are used in the various lessons. If you already have a copy of AutoCAD Civil 3D, you can open these files and follow along with the video tutorials. I suggest that you create a folder called CAD Learning and extract all of the exercise files to that folder. Then, as you progress through the lessons, you can open the appropriate drawing file and follow along. Each assessment contains a number of multiple choice questions, and these questions may be text only, or they may include images. There are actually three different types of assessment tests. For each chapter, you'll find a knowledge-based chapter review, in which each question covers just the material presented in a given chapter. You'll also find a knowledge-based course review. The questions in this test cover the entire range of materials presented in the entire course. And we've provided a skills-based course review. Although this test also consists of multiple choice questions, in order to choose the correct answer, you will first have to perform one or more tasks using Civil 3D. You can use these self-assessments to test your knowledge of the software both before and after viewing the course. After taking any of these tests, the software will report your score. If you've answered a question incorrectly, you'll see the information about why a particular answer was wrong. And also a list of lessons that you can watch to review the material directly related to that question. This AutoCAD Civil 3D 2012 course is just one in a series of CAD learning courses for Autodesk products produced by 4D Technologies. 4D Technologies also produces CAD learning courses for other Autodesk software. Since its inception in 2002, 4D Technologies has worked closely with Autodesk and industry experts to develop training materials that meet the needs of individuals and organizations in a wide variety of markets including education, architecture, engineering, construction, transportation, manufacturing, utilities, communication, and government. For more information about our other training products, please visit us online at cadlearning.com. I'm pleased and excited that you've joined us. I look forward to sharing my knowledge and experience with you. So let's get started.